Thanks, everybody. Uh, real quick, my name is Joseph Whipple. Um, like Jamie said, um, also, as he said, I was a welder before this, so I had no prior sales experience whatsoever. Um, I've been here about nine months, and I'm from right here in Charlotte. This is also my first time speaking by myself in front of everybody, so you'll have to bear with me if I mess up. Um, real quick, why I got into this business. Um, before this, while I was welding, I was also into stocks, crypto, trading, stock market. Um, and one of my friends who got into the business as well said, hey man, I found this opportunity. You know, you can make some extra money. We can use it to invest. And it's, it's life insurance. I'm like, okay, ne never heard of this before. I mean, I knew life insurance existed, but knew nothing about it. Um, so he sent me the FFL link, and then I started seeing stuff pop up on TikTok and, and Facebook and started watching some Andrew Taylor podcasts. And um, I went on to the FFL America site, filled out a form, and Mike called me the next day. Um, funny story, he called me the first time, and I was like, who's this? Didn't recognize the number, and I rejected the call. He called me again, rejected the call again. He triple dialed me on the third call I picked up, and he was like, hey, yeah, I got your form. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do need to take this call. Um, so I had to be triple dialed to be hired, but um, best, best experience ever. So I uh, joined, passed my test, um, and then a big thing, I think, with staying consistent is being plugged in from the beginning. Um, as soon as I got into the course, Mike sent me a text um, with the FFL USA podcast, Andrew Taylor's um, podcast, and I got plugged into that, started listening to uh, Paul McLean's trainings, and blasted it on speaker while I was taking a shower, listened to it while I was at work in my, in my uh, earbuds while I was waiting to take my test, um, just everywhere, uh, you know, in the car, driving around, listening to podcasts, and inundating my mind to reduce that learning curve when I got started. Um, the fourth thing is having a schedule to be accountable to. Like everybody who's come up before me has said, have a schedule, have a goal. You know, everybody who is up here on the Hall of Fame panel, that's exactly what they were. They had a schedule and they were consistent. Hall of Fame is a consistency award. They had that goal, you know, 400 families in a year, usually, or if you're a superhero like Nat, you do it in 170 days. Um, but if you're going to do it in a production year, you know, 400 families a year, what does that actually look like? Well, it's a minimum of 33 families a month, which is a minimum of 7 to 10 families a week. And to get to 7 to 10 families a week, you need 15 appointments every two run days, 30 appointments a week, which happens to be FFL system. Um, so really, if you just follow the system and you're consistent with it and you plug in, you stay plugged in, you stay consistent, Hall of Fame, these producers that we, that we elevate and put on another level, they're not a lot different than us. They're just consistent. And they plug in and they stay focused. Um, fifth or sixth is it can't just be about the money. You have to have uh, another goal. Like for me, I want to help my parents pay off their house. I want to retire my mom and dad. It can't just be about the money. You have to attach your goal to something else because if it's just about the money, you'll make in one week what you used to make in a month and you'll say, okay, I'm set. You know, I, I can pay my bills. I don't have to work till next month. And then you know, that's when the chargebacks start rolling in. You, know, um, you get in a slump and then you're behind trying to catch up and, and you're pushing for the sale, pushing for the commission. You got commission breath and it, it, never, works. it never works well. Trust me, I've been there, done that a couple times. Like Jamie said, I've, I've been on a roller coaster. I'll do really well, and then I'll slack off a little bit, and I'll do really well again. And it's about finding that happy medium, or you know, just grinding, just doing the same task over and over again, being consistent, you know, helping the families, putting them first. Um, and seven is the definition of grind. It's to perform repetitive tasks over and over in order to attain a goal. That's Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is the grind. Stay consistent. It's hard not to hit Hall of Fame when you're consistent following the FFL system. Um, eight, everybody struggles and encounters difficulties. It's about how you respond that makes the difference. I guarantee you every single one of the people that were up here who hit Hall of Fame have been in the same position that you're in right now, struggling with no-shows, struggling with booking appointments at the beginning, you know, struggling getting the bank account info, struggling getting the social. But how did they respond to it versus how do you respond to it? Did they quit? No, or they wouldn't have hit Hall of Fame. So it's whenever you hit those difficulties, you know, 
you, you, like when my first run day, I had nine no-shows. Um, my first dial day, I booked 19 appointments. First run day, I had um, 10. Nine of them were no-shows. I got to sit with one person, wasn't able to help them. The next day I went out, I was a little scourged the night before, but I called Mike, and just like we all say here at FFL, when you have a tough run day, the field owes you. The next day I went out, my second day in the field, I was able to help five families. Finished up my first week being able to help 11 families. So what started out, you know, a little discouraging, and if I had just said my first day went out there, didn't help anybody, like, screw this, I quit, you know, I wouldn't be here today. But you've got to stay consistent. When, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, you know, that old saying, that's all it is, just stay consistent. Um, number nine is, I've seen this illustration that's, that's helped me a lot when I've wanted to quit, and I have wanted to quit before, um, but Brody and Mike, you know, they're there to, to help me. I call them all the time, I called Brody at like 11.40 last night to run through my, my speech here today. Um, you got to get people like Brody and Mike who are there to you know, they're in your corner, they're there to help you. Every single time I call Brody, he picks up his phone. I could call him at 3 a.m. and he'd pick up his phone. Sometimes it doesn't even get to ring on my end before I hear him answer. I'm like, how'd you answer that fast? Um, but uh, the illustration is there's two miners and there's a pile of diamonds. And one miner is almost to hit the pile of diamonds and he, he's, he's like this close to hitting the pile of diamonds and he turns around and quits because he's been digging for a long time and hasn't gotten anything. Then there's another guy who started later than him, and he just keeps digging, keeps digging, keeps digging, keeps digging, and he hits, hits the pile of diamonds. The difference between the two is that the last guy didn't give up, and he stayed consistent because he knew you know, he had a goal. He was trying to hit it. He wasn't going to quit till he got it, and that's the mindset you got to have. Whatever goal you have, just work out a plan, work out a schedule to get there, and stay consistent. No matter what happens, it's not about the results. Just put in the activity, and you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Um, lastly is just outlast people. There's people who started before me who I thought were way up here, and now they're gone. It's, you just stay here. You know, you follow the system. You sell. You help families. You recruit. You build your agency. And there will be people who are way ahead of you, or it looks like when you started, that you'll pass up simply because you stayed consistent and you just did what you knew to do. Um, lastly, just a brief review. Um, stay plugged in, listen to podcasts, inundate your mind with trainings, reach out, ask questions, find your Brody, find your mic, and bug the hell out of them. Call them, call them, call them, ask them questions. You know, they're there to help you. Everybody wants to see you win. Stay consistent, and that's all I got.